been involved with the development of Cheshire Enterprise, I think for one particular reason, and that is that over the last decade, we have engineered in this county, and indeed throughout the Northwest, an enterprise culture, which I think is critically important not only to our regional economy, but also to our national economy. Cheshire Enterprise is perhaps unique within the United Kingdom in that it has interlocking agencies throughout the whole of the county. This has clearly a number of benefits in that people who are seeking advice can go from one agency to another agency, agencies can refer and refer back, and there is now a network throughout the county of Cheshire that actually looks after those needs. It's looking to the future of not only our young people, but those who want to be the wealth creators in our county. And I believe that their energies and their efforts are going to have a marked and considerable effect on the benefits in the Northwest region. Cheshire Enterprise is essential to this process. It's essential to our county and it's essential to our region. I envy you, old boy. Good luck. <laughs> Best of luck, Mr. Green. A very brave decision, Ella. You must know how you get on, won't you? Well, this is it, Alan. You're on your own now. You're very late, Alan. Yes, I know. I've got a lot of problems. Well, the dinner's ruined. Oh, that's fine. The foremost thing on my mind right now, dinner. I hope you've done the right thing. Daddy, can you come and help me? No, Amy. Leave me alone. Alan! Amy, I'm sorry. Maybe later. You know I've done the right thing. It's I seem to have lost my way, that's all. Look, I'll see you later. I'm going to the pub. Mr. Green, I've been waiting three weeks for my order. I'm sorry, Mr. Green. I can't supply any more materials until you've cleared your account. I'm very sorry, Mr. Green. The bank's going to have to call in the loan. 144, please, Alan. You've got problems, mate. It's the business, Fred. <laughs> more pitfalls than I thought. To be honest, I don't know where to go from here. Try the bank. What do you mean, mate? There are people who can help you, Alan. All new businesses have their problems. You're not alone. With the right direction, you can be successful. You need the help of your local enterprise agency. The Cheshire Enterprise Agencies, they're unique in covering the whole of the county. And with access to the national network of agencies, are ideally placed to help new and existing businesses. Firstly, your local agency would invite you to a counselling session with an expert. And he'd advise you on your business setup with the aid of computer diagnosis. The peak has been reached in approximately month six. That would be about it. Yes, it levels off towards the end of the year made redundant and he was going to close down the company so um, I met up with a mate of mine at college and we offered to take on the business from him and he agreed to let us do it. Robert went to the local enterprise agency who advised him on the feasibility of taking up the business and then on start-up. He was offered premises in the agency building without the usual problem of long leases or large mortgages. Because people he attended their regular training sessions to help him cope to. with staff, customers and We always and say that enthusiasm is the most powerful tool that we have available to us for our businesses. We consider sponsoring small businesses because obviously every new business that sets up is new work for us that hopefully helps us to grow as well. Dave Lloyd, in partnership with his wife, set up in business manufacturing racing and mountain bikes. 
He reckons the local agencies saved them at least a year in assisting with business plans, accounting systems, and gaining loans to get their business on the right track. This has allowed Dave, after only nine months, to fill their order book for home and abroad. As could be expected from a man who's been a national champion in various disciplines nine times, and in the Guinness Book of Records six times. He knows the system works. The most important thing that we've actually got from the agency has been the services of a sales representative. He came to us through the agency on a secondment and he has been able to get out and talk to our customers on a national basis. Being stuck here in the laboratory, we've not been able to get out and talk to people. Using a professional salesperson has meant that we've been able to get out to our customers and that has brought in a lot more business than we could ever have done through mail shops. Now, Nicky Johnson started dressmaking at college. My work experience during my last term, I went to work for the Emanuels in Brook Street in London. I've always been interested in evening wear design and decided I'd like to make it into a career. So I went to the local enterprise agency where I found lots of advice. They helped me do a cash flow forecast, put me in touch with other people who I could get financial help from. It would have been difficult to set up without actually going to the enterprise agency. Our customers include Brundig satellite dishes and also Polaroid cameras. We do parts for Austin Rover Group and also Jaguar cars. We can judge our expansion over the five years in three different ways in terms of employees, which has risen from one to 29. In turnover, same period again has gone up by a thousand percent. And floor space, the initial factory we had was 750 square feet. Now we have 10,000 square feet. We decided to become a sponsor really as a return on the investment over the period of time that we've had advice from them. It will also help these people give advice to others to help them start up their new businesses. Now that's what I need, but services like that cost money. What's it going to cost me? Nothing. What? Nothing. It's free. The enterprise agencies are supported by sponsorship. Just listen to what Jeff Wynn, ICI's Merseyside Operations Manager, has to say. We've supported the local enterprise agencies since they first started in the early 1980s. And we've asked ourselves the question, uh, why should we carry on? And the number of reasons why we believe we should do that. Um, first of all, we believe we should play our full part in the local community. We believe that's good for ICI and it's good for the community. One important way in which we can do that is by helping to promote and develop business in the area and the local economy and I think that the local enterprise agencies have played a very important part and can play a significant part in the future in doing that. And that's why we support them. Another thing I would say, and very, perhaps very important, and a, and a, a reason of self-interest perhaps, is most of the people who work in ICI are living in the local community. And we believe that people who are living in a successful and developing local economy are going to be better ICI employees, and that's good for us. All the good work you see here today by the local enterprise agencies in Cheshire is clearly not possible without the help of sponsors. Now, without your contribution, it really will not be possible for these non-profit-making organisations to function in the future. Fred, two doubles. Many people like Alan need the help of the enterprise agencies and they need your money. So sponsor your local enterprise agency because you know it works. We all need a guardian angel. Two dollars. <laughs>